we're live all across Northwest and West Central Ohio here on WOSN. We uh, thank you uh, for joining us tonight here. We are at the Hangar in Ayersville, set for big uh, GMC boys basketball action as the Pilots play host to the Raiders of Wayne Trace. With Miles Holiday, I'm Randy Roberts. Partner, we've uh, took a little bit of time off here. We want to wish everyone a uh, uh, Merry Christmas. I don't think we've talked to you since Christmas. Happy New Year to uh, everyone uh, watching us at home. And that calendar flips now, the 2024 part of this year's basketball schedule, and everyone can begin to focus a little bit more on your conference play. And there's some big openers tonight here in the Green Meadows Conference. Well, I'm sure both teams have a New Year's resolution of winning the GMC, right, Randy Roberts? And, mm -hmm. you know, where else would you rather be than right here, right now, the GMC League opener right in front of us? Two teams that are going to give you great effort because they want to win it. And for the last handful of years, it's been Wayne Trace and Antwerp, kind of the top two teams. Everyone's been talked about. Ayersville, along with a few others, have always been kind of that, uh, I don't want to say second tier, maybe that, that next level, right? Is that the one that's going to break through? This Ayersville team, they've been up and down coming in at 4-4 four and four partner, but big chance here at home. Remember, they won in Wayne Trace a year ago, snapped a five-game uh, win streak for the Raiders against the Pilots. So now that opportunity starts here in the GMC opener. Yeah, I'm going to do it with a young backcourt if they're going to upset Wayne Trace here tonight. And, of course, Wayne Trace, a veteran team, and they're looking to get back on top of the GMC. Remember polling a year ago that kind of surprised people. Mm -hmm. and they got it. But you're right, though. Antwerp and Wayne Trace, you're in, you're out. Those are always the two teams that are mentioned at being the league favorite. But this uh, Ayersville team, they're going to give a great effort. They're going to have to get it done on the defensive end and make sure they take it to the basketball here tonight. Let's talk a little bit about the Raiders of Wayne Trace. We'll take a look at their starting lineup. They come in tonight at 8-1, that lone loss coming in double overtime to Crestview under veteran head coach Jim Linder, who's now in his 16th year. And what a show they'll put on with Brooks Lockoff. 24 points per game twice this year has gotten 31. Yeah, he is a guy that can fill it up. I don't know if I've ever seen a player that can shoot off the dribble faster and better than Brooks Lockoff. He is a fantastic player. And it's a reason why he's going to play at the next level. But don't forget his running mate, Kyle Stoller, one of the hardest working guys you're ever going to see on the floor. He is a double-double chance every single time he steps on the floor. Just a tenacious rebounder. Yeah, Stoller, 14 points, seven and a half rebounds, as Miles said. Be that number two guy. Let's talk a little bit about Ayersville coming in at four and four. As we said, it's been an up and down year. They beat someone that maybe surprises you, and then they lose to someone maybe you think they shouldn't. Still trying to figure it out. They've got co-head coaches and Logan Wolf from Dave Retcher, fifth year. They've kind of worked that together. Dave kind of works a lot with the defense while Logan focuses on the offense. It's worked for them. They've gone 16 44 as the co coaches. But you mentioned it. No one over 10 points a game. It's a balanced attack. Brady Clark. 9.9, Carter Michael, 9.8, Garrett Flory, 8.5 points a game. So they do have some weapons just looking for some consistency. I think the co-coach thing is absolutely brilliant because if someone comes with you with a problem, you say, that's not my department, go talk to coach over there, he'll handle it, right? What a great situation it is. But, Randy, if they're going to win tonight, they're going to have to play really good defense and they're going to have to shoot the ball well, something that they have struggled to do early in this year, thus the 4-4 four and four record. So looking forward to what should be a, a good one here. Wayne Trace comes in scoring 61 a game, allowing 44, while Ayersville scoring 45 and giving up 51. We're going to take a quick break while they perform the national anthem. We'll come back, give you the keys to the game. You're watching High School Basketball live on WOSN. We're Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday back with you here from the hangar in Ayersville. They're going through the introductions of our uh, starting lineups. Looks like introduce, uh, introductions, easy for me to say, of the uh, cheerleaders as well so while we have uh, a few minutes here partner let's take a look at our keys to the game and let's start with the visiting Raiders of Wing Trace. Yeah number one sticky fingers they get their hands on a lot of deflections a lot of passes make sure you stick your hand out and get it don't let it go out of bounds turn that into an easy layup they're going to give you a lot of pressure. Number two, keep them guessing. Jim Linder does a great job defensively with this Wayne Trace team, the head coach. Make sure you change up those defensive looks so that the Ayersville has to guess what you're in. And then you highlighted this young man in the pregame. Number three, Mr. Big Time, Brooks Lockoff. 24 points a game, four steals a game. Randy, he shoots at 56% from the field. 
my dude is fantastic at scoring the rock. He's going to have to be big time here tonight. And what will be some keys to the game tonight for the Ayersville Pilots as they try to once again climb back up over 500. Yeah, number one, Peak early. The young freshman guard, Jeremiah Peak. You'll see him right away. He's got the most glorious hair you're ever going to see on a basketball floor. But he's just a freshman. He's going to have to handle the pressure that Wayne Trace likes to employ. He makes good decisions. They're going to stay in this ball game. Uh, number two, a fury of glory. Yes, the big six foot six senior. The big guy, Garrett Flory, inside. He's going to have to have a big game. Nine points, four rebounds a game. And then number three, hold the rock. If they turn the basketball over against a swarming Wayne Trace defense, it's going to be a long night. And how about this pregame introduction, Randy? It is cool. They got the lights out the spotlight on. It's got a big-time feel. Yeah, I hope everyone doesn't get nervous. We didn't lose power here in the hangar. Going tonight of the... Ayersville Pilots, we can uh, tell you while we have a moment, this meeting the 57th all-time between these two. Wayne Trace leads the all-time series 40-16. to We mentioned at the top of our pregame, Ayersville went to Wayne Trace, got a win a year ago, 57-47, and that win snapped a five-game winning streak of Wayne Trace against Ayersville. So now the Raiders hoping to exact a little revenge as again they are expected to be one of those top teams this year in the GMC. Come to a basketball game and a fight breaks out yeah. here. Evidently those pregame t-shirts they throw out are, are in high demand. It, it's almost like a, a pink Stanley Cup. But people really want those things. Well back-to-back -back nights of live basketball for you here on WOSN. Our crew is going to be live with you tomorrow as well. We're going to be uh, just up the road a little bit at the Taj Mahal of basketball in defiance as the undefeated T-Birds of LCC will invade defiance. That game for the past few years has been played at the end of the season, but with new regulations with sectionals now, there's no uh, sectional games. Oh, there's still sectional games, but the, the predetermined sites and the neutral courts have gone away. If you're familiar with soccer, volleyball, baseball, softball, it's become that way where the higher seed will now host games in the tournament. Needed to keep that Saturday date open, so the Chiefs schools have agreed that tomorrow will be LCC Defiance. By the way, special start time, 4.30 JV, so we expect to go on the air a little bit before 6 o'clock. That is tomorrow night live here on WOSN. But we are underway. Raiders are going to win the opening tip. And they'll have the basketball first. Now, excited to see that LCC team. Fantastic win a week ago against OG. And you see man-to-man -man early by Wayne, by Ayersville, rather. And Wayne Trace had a good shot. Couldn't convert. Tough defense as the Pilots do get the stop. They'll bring it into the front court. Ben Amoroso with Amoroso trying to get to the basket. But he's going to be blocked. And now here come the Raiders. Move in transition. This one's going to be out of bounds. I'm not sure if Hudson Myers got both hands on the basketball, but it looks like the Raiders will keep it. Well, a lot of hands early on basketballs. First Tanner Lockoff down on the defensive end, and then you see the young freshman get his hands on it. Bob comes in top of the key of Carter Clemens. Now swinging around, here's Lockoff. Inside once again. Stoller at the elbow. Starts to drive, spins with the left hand off the window. He's able to put it up and in. That allows all the Wayne Trace fans to have a seat. Got to stand until the first shot. Nice little spin lefty, and that pressure early gets another turnover. 2 nothing early on our scoreboard tonight as we see the replay here of this ball that's going to go out of bounds. Scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Minute gone by, 2-0. Raiders of Wayne Trace in front. There's the jump stop. Cutter Clemens with a left hand, able to find his way to the basket. Yeah, another one of the young guys that Wayne Trace really likes his potential. And you see why? How about the little step through and then the lefty finish? We've seen this defensively when Miles and I have had a chance to check out the Raiders. They love setting up some defensive pressure off of made baskets. Yeah, it was kind of a close game. We had them early in the year at Van Wert, and then they ramped up the pressure, and that thing turned into a runaway right away. 2-2-1 two, two, employed early. Wayne Trace will turn, uh, change up their defensive looks. Here's Jeremiah Peake. He's the one with a head full of hair, number three. They're going to go inside. 
Clements is going to knock that one away. So the Raiders with a couple of blocks early on. And now we're going to get a whistle. Travel is going to be the call. So after a couple of jump stops have gone uncalled, the officials and now decide to change things up a little bit. It never really upsets Wayne Trace early in a basketball game because it allows them to set up their pressure. 4-0, just uh, a little bit over six minutes left to go opening quarter on our Charles River scoreboard. Brady Clark bring this one into the front court and he's going to get a long pass. Clark had it momentarily, calls for it again. Three ball from the corner on the way. That's going to be no good. Hits off the side of the iron by Garrett Flory. Flory's going to come up with a miss. And in the lane, he's able to get in and score. How about Flory, the big six foot six guy, chasing down his own miss and then leaves the floor in a hurry on the finish. Ayersville comes in at four and four. Wayne Trace at eight and one. As we mentioned, top of our pregame, this one the opening night of the Green Meadows Conference. An interesting matchup, Clark on lockoff. Lockoff's going to have the ball knocked away. It's a turnover. The Pilots get this one back. Yeah, really good help by Flory that time. There's Pete, quarter three, he's going to bury it. Oh, how about the blowing locks and the better jumper? Peak, release, rotation, and splash, his sixth three of the year. I generally don't uh, don't worry about hair that much, but that is a glorious head of hair. That's unbelievable. Randy, they have him listed. You ready for this? At six foot. But with the hair, he's easily 6'5". That pays off. Raiders trying to be a little deliberate this trip. Lockoff's going to back up, reset the offense here. Lockoff into the paint, use the sidestep, get up around Brady Clark. We're going to get a whistle and a foul here. Now, I'm not sure if this is by design that they want Brady Clark because this is a really tough matchup on the perimeter. Now, Brady Clark picks him up inside the key. I like that matchup for Ayersville, but Brooks Lockoff is going to break him down nine times out of ten on the perimeter. Lockoff had a high pass and a pin the ball against his body. Come down with it, now gets a screen. Good switch, they're gonna switch it up. Carter Michael on him momentarily. Three from the wing, nearly got stuck, but it's no good. Jeremiah Peake comes away with a miss. Yeah, it kind of came out of the hand of Stoller. Funny, ugly looking shot early. Peake's gonna take a second attempt. That one a little too strong. And it is Clemens in traffic, comes away with a miss. Now here's Lockoff. Lockoff with a handoff for Tanner Lockoff as they swing it around. To the right wing, Hudson Meyer from three. That one doesn't go. And a good box out, Brady Clark. Clark with the outlet for Peak. As the Pilots had some numbers, and now drawing the foul on the baseline will be Ben Amoroso. Yeah, Amoroso kind of gets caught, watches. Yep, see, does go short, choppy steps, lunges towards the shooter. And honestly, if he's going to catch it out there, let him shoot it. My apologies, I believe that was Flory number 20, not number 10. Number 10 has the basketball right now to find number 20. The ball's going to roll free back out to a peak. And at the end of the day, it's Carter Michael ends up being the right guy at the right place. Yeah, it's an Arizona team that we highlighted in the pregame has kind of struggled from the field, but not early in this one. They are red hot with a 7-4 lead. Trying to tie it. Here's a three from the wing. That's going to be no good. Tanner lock off. Good box out to keep Hudson Meyer away from the basketball as we're going to take a look at the replay and see this take a bounce into your living room. It's Garrett Flory trying to keep two Raiders away from the ball. A good job by Flory. Student section helping out the official right there. Good call. Goes to Ayersville. Flory in some trouble along the baseline. A Carter Michael trying to reach in to help a teammate out, but we're going to have a tie-up. On a held ball, Arrow should stay, I believe, with the Pilots. This is a Wayne Trace team, Randy, that has outscored their opponents big time in the first quarter, 145-83. to 83. So this is a big statement by Ayersville taking a 7-4 lead early. To Carter, Michael, Michael might have got a running start with that dribble drive. It's no good. Kyle Stoller comes away with a rebound. It's one of those confidence builders and it kind of sounds dumb to say, and it makes a lot of sense, is the three is going to be good. But one of those games where the longer you're in, the more confidence you end up building. Yeah, tremendous job by Tanner Lockoff to find his open shooter in rhythm. But Ayersville comes back right away. Yeah, Carter Michael able to get his second bucket into the quarter. 
puts the uh, uh, Pilots back in front. Same ball from the corner is going to go out of bounds. Brooks Longcock trying to go behind the back. The wraparound, however, went into the uh, end of the Ayersville bench. Now the Pilots will get this one back. Now the energy that Ayersville has brought for the first league game, fantastic. Outplaying Wayne Trace. Now we're going to get a whistle. Ball's out of bounds as that pressure that uh, Wayne Trace has put on through the opening quarters finally paid off. Yeah, already the third turnover in this game. Ayersville bench didn't think so. Wanted a little bit of a shove call by the official. Didn't get it. 2.51 left to go. Opening quarter in our Charles River scoreboard. You see one of the uh, two co-coaches there. Coach Retcher has done a fantastic job. Two absolute Ayersville guys in Logan Wolfram, Dave Retcher. Well, oh, there's no doubt they both love Ayersville, you, you see the joy when they talk about their basketball team. Tough shot in traffic by Hudson Myers, no good. Jeremiah Peek comes up with a miss. Peek will get the basketball back between the circles. He'll turn around, take a peek at his coaches to get the signal. Well, Peek has done a good job handling the pressure early. Of course, he had the big three that kind of kick-started this offense. Michael with the left hand, able to draw the foul. Jeremiah Peek's done everything but maybe play peekaboo. Well, let's see if Stoller commits it. A nice exchange inside. Oh, that's kind of a tough call right there. Randy Roberts playing peekaboo. I like it. It's going to be the first on Stoller team, sir. There we go. It took how long to get a reaction? <laughs> Carter Michaels, 20 of 38 from the free throw line, knocks down the first. Rose that uh, pilot lead to three. Now it looks like a couple wet spots the officials want to dry up. So you're going to go with Peekaboo for the nickname? I like it. Do you remember the old and one tour at all with Hot Sauce? I do not. Oh, they, Hot Sauce had the exact same hair as our, our good friend Peekaboo Peek. It's 11 7. It's a two possession lead now for the Pilots here on their home floor. Lockoff. Able to explode his way to the basket. Can't get it to go. Clemens fights for the offensive rebound. Had the uh, outlet kind of bounce back to him. He wanted to get rid of the basketball. Now off the high glass. It's Tanner Lockoff able to score for the first time tonight. Yeah, smart move by Lockoff. Waited. Got the shot up and keeps him in this basketball game. But how about Clemens? Probably his best game of the year. They can get play like this out of him. They're going to be a very tough team moving forward. Ben Amoroso gets rid of it over to Peak. Amoroso gets it back to the free throw line, gets it inside. Turnaround by Carter Michael doesn't go. And the elder Lockoff comes away with a miss. Brooks on his way to playing uh, college ball next year at Ohio Dominican. D2 school in the uh, Columbus area, I do believe. I got to be excited to go into the Dominican. Nice weather down there. Not that Dominican. Oh, it's Ohio Dominican. Baseline move doesn't go. Stoller comes up with a miss, and the putback's going to be up and good. That's what Kyle Stoller has done for four years at Wayne Trace. Just does the extra dirty work inside. Another finish, and it looked like that. It's tied up at 11. Wayne Trace has not played great in this first quarter, but they got to be happy that it's knotted up. Yeah, it's a 4-0 run for the Raiders. After Ayersville had taken two-possession lead, trying to... Looks like run out this final 30 plus seconds of the quarter. Coach does have the one finger up the universal play for the last shot sign. Doesn't always work that way as Miles and I have seen down through the years. Yeah, it's kind of tough to run that clock out unless you have a veteran guy that can run the point for you. But who do you want to take the shot here, Randy? And right now, Amoroso's got the basketball in his hands over to Flory. They go inside Carter Michael again. Good turnaround. Hits it with four on the clock. He's got eight in the quarter, and that is how the opening quarter will end. A good first eight minutes of action, 13 to 11. Ayersville with the early lead, and we'll take a break here on WOSF. 13 to 11, our score after one quarter of play. The Ayersville Pilots, thanks to eight big points in that opening quarter from the 6 3 senior Carter Michael, have the early lead. Now, the question is, can you just, it's simple, can you just do it for three more quarters? Right, they're really just kind of outplaying Wayne Trace, right? Just playing a little bit harder, and 
And how about the situational basketball at the end of the quarter? We've seen it many times where a team tries to hold it for the last shot and turns it over. Uh, Wayne Ayersville was ready for it. Ran a little high-low action to get Michael a good look. Fantastic execution by Wayne Trace. Yeah, especially when that uh, possession started with 35 seconds left. How many times have we seen teams throw it away, take a quick shot because someone wants to see if someone's got the ball in their hands. It's a good uh, situational basketball, like Miles had said, to close that for the Pilots as Wayne Trace trying to answer. They do to open the second. A lot of contact inside. At least that is what head coach Jim Linder is saying as this one is tied. Trying to get the answer on the lob. It doesn't go. That thrown a little bit behind Garrett Flory. Now the Raiders come up with this one again. This one's going to be knocked away as Lucas Fishpaw will get the steal. And now it's the Pilots come back into the front court. Fishpaw give to Amoroso. Yeah, another empty trip offensively with the turnover. Negated a really good rebound by Kale Winans for Wayne Trace. Amoroso still holds. It's that entry pass in. Michael now triple team. Ball does pop free. But the Pilots able to get it back. And you saw a glimpse of the quickness of Lockoff coming back and picking at the post. Amoroso take over at the point once again. Pilots will have uh, no problems trying to shorten this one as this time it is the younger Lockoff, Tanner. Nearly poked that one free. Did send it into the backcourt where it went out of bounds. A oh, Wayne Trace overplaying that pass, that entry pass to the wing because not a lot of backdoor action uh, by Ayersville. Ayersville's going to have to take advantage of it by running some backdoor looks and getting free. Comes back out to the wing again for Fishpaw. He'll give it out. Amoroso, Amoroso goes to the elbow. And Carter Michael pops out top of the key and he'll fire a pass inside for Brady Clark scores for the first time tonight. Yeah, already the third bucket from some high-low action by Ayersville. I like it. If it works once, keep going to it again and again until they stop it. Pilots back in front of the scoreboard tonight brought to you by Charles River. Because there's the answer on the look inside. It's Carter, Clement, or Carter Clemens, excuse me, now with four. A good find by Stoller on the cutter. Both teams moving without the basketball. Amoroso picks up his dribble as he had it kind of knocked away. Now his pass to the wing is going to be thrown away. So Ayersville will turn this over. So our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. If you're Ayersville, you have to be a little bit concerned. You played so well, right? And you look at the scoreboard, and it's still tied at 15. Stoller with the turnaround, gets the bucket and the fall. And now the 6'3 senior will have a chance at a three-point play. Oh, this is a big post-time move right there. Look at that. Spin move back to the left. Everybody anticipates him going to the right and goes through the contact. Time for a little old-fashioned. Stoller on the years, 24 of 36 from the free throw line. And he'll add to that as he knocks down the three-point play. So he's got nine to lead the Raiders so far as they have three-point advantage here with 5.36 to go. What's been a very fast-moving opening half of basketball. Hey, he's just one of those guys that you look at and say, wow, nine already. And you remember, he just hangs around the low block and puts everything back in. Yeah, he, he uh, should we call him the cleaner? I like it. The one's thrown away. He just cleans the glass. Well, the actual cleaner is kind of tied up for a while in Kenny Omega, so someone needs to take over. I'm going to get a timeout here, but the cleaner, Kyle Stoller. I like it. It's a quick 30-second timeout. We'll step aside as well. You're watching High School Basketball Live on WOSF. 18-15, our score. Wayne Trace now with a lead over Ayersville. 5-23 left to go in our opening half as uh, the PA and staff here. Just a uh, thank to all of the media who uh, is here, which there's quite a few of us, including our director, Ken Richard. Yeah, it was nice of him to do that. So, I don't know who this Ken Richard guy is, but we'll, we'll thank him when we see him. 
How about that move right there by Brooks Lockoff all around the world. Little. It's the same song, another layup for Brooks Lockoff. Yeah, it's his first bucket of the night and a big one. Extends that lead to five, biggest of the night. By the way, we'll pull deep inside the curtain. Ken Richards, how Miles has Ken in his phone. So <laughs> as we're going to get a whistle and a foul down in the low block. That's going to draw the ire of Jim Linder, who's going to turn away and make sure his comments are to his assistant coaches and not the gentleman in stripes. The veteran knows what he's doing. Yeah, Jimmy definitely knows how to work the officials, right? And he knows how to work coming out of timeout. How about that inbound play and then getting lock off? I mean, that, he ran through four screens, went around the globe and got the layup. Great diagram on the timeout. Better execution coming out of it. Well, Brady Clark able to knock down the first free throw. He will miss on the second one. So right at his average, came in 15 of 28. So hovering right around 50%. That's what he does there, going one of two. Makes it a four-point game as we roll. 440 and counting. A left to play opening half. Lockoff's going to try to do it again. Just with a sweet touch on the finger roll. Yeah, ran the, the weave look in action, but turned a corner. And Brady Clark trying to keep up with him, but just not the same quickness as Brooks Lockoff. He's now got four. It extends that lead to six. And now that pressure comes out of the Raiders. Michael from the baseline doesn't get the friendly bounce. So it's out to Lockoff. Lockoff with a hot hand. He knows it. Pulls up from deep. Doesn't touch the cylinder. Just tickles the twine on the way down. Uh, how about him with the pull up three? Nothing but nasty net for Brooks Lockoff. Seven quickly here has made this all of a sudden a nine point game. So what we talked about with uh, Ayersville, you had that confidence hanging around that opening quarter. Now can you keep it? And a little double clutch and a travel is going to be the call as that Raider defense now uh, giving Ayersville some fits. Yeah, they'll speed you up, won't they? Yeah, there's the, yep. And I see the drop step of the left foot. Now it's just too much. You can't have three pivot feet, just two. And they will speed you up. And before you know it, guys that uh, aren't supposed to have the ball in their hand, have the ball in their hand, and it's another turnover. And, and dare you say, Ayersville might be snacking on some danger here, I Randy think Roberts? So. Stoller turnaround. That one doesn't go. Amoroso with the miss. He'll bring this into the front court. Amoroso looking for some help. His first idea was double teamed. He'll get it back. Stops. Now funds Carter Michael. Michael back to Amoroso. He'll skip it over the top. You see a lot of sagging inside on this matchup zone kind of principle that Wayne Trace is employing. They're going to have to, Ayersville's going to have to hit some perimeter shots because they are just really playing in the key. Flory with it for Amoroso. They'll reverse it back to this right side. But the lob going up. Flory couldn't get it to go second time. They tried that as Peak had the right idea with the pass. Just couldn't finish it. Lockoff, you know he wanted to pull up there from the elbow. Finds his brother. He'll drive inside. That doesn't go, but Stoller one hands the rebound. Switches it to the dominant hand. Just puts it up and in. Now the cleaner, what's he do? He cleans the glass. Kyle Stoller, big time again. He's got 11 points in this opening half. Three ball from the corner. That one's going to be well off the mark. Lockoff for Stoller. And it's become a layup line now for the Raiders. Uh, this is what happens. They wear you down. You turn it over, and boy, they convert in a hurry. How about the sweet, sensational pass? Unbelievable look by Brooks Lockoff. Better finish by Kyle Stoller. The cleaner. At 29 16 here with 224 left to go in our opening half. And again, we want to tell you that uh, we're live twice this weekend. You're watching us, obviously. Live right now in WOSN. We're going to be back with you live tomorrow. Not that far away. We're going to head into Defiance. Well, it's always been a good matchup. Bulldogs and the undefeated T-Birds of Lima Central Catholic. Again, at 4.30 for the JV start. So we're anticipating a pregame somewhere in the neighborhood. 5.45, 5.50. Hopefully I have a 6 o'clock Varsity tip time. Some of us will be uh, coming in hot from Defiance College on the other end of town. So looking forward to uh, a ton of basketball. It's that time of year here. Is there's the steal. Walk off with it again.
the little hesitation move in the paint. He's in the score. On coast to coast for Lockoff. How about the little hesitation dribble? And then the finish. Lockoff now with nine. So Lockoff and Stoller with 22 of the 31. And that will drive you nuts as a coach. You call timeout to settle down, get a good look, and what do you do out of the timeout? You turn it over and give up a layup. Now 15-point leaders, Carter Michael, step inside. The free throw line will end the run. So Carter Michael with 10, trying to keep the pilots in it. Yeah, soft spot to that zone right at the free throw line. Smart decision by him. Didn't attack the rim, just take the easy jumper. Here's a three ball from the wing. That's going to be nothing but net. Wayne Trace goes a little deeper into their bench. Caden Sin with the triple. Well, if your last name is Sin, you've got to hit the three ball at some point in time. It's an officially a way jumper. Peak with it in the corner. They'll reverse it around. Amoroso with it. Want to get it back to Peak. That one's going to be knocked away. There's Luck off, and he's going to be. Oh, we're going to. One official has a push. We'll let you decide because I think the other one might want to call it travel. Oh, that's just a Euro step, a step through. Now yeah, they're going to call the foul, which I think is the, the right call. Boy, it is amazing watching Brooks Luckoff get the pass and then convert it real quick into the front court. He is a blur. He's quicker than a hiccup. So the Ayersville foul is going to go on Amoroso. That's going to be his first, just the team's second. Mm. I guess it was on the floor. Must have been way before he tried the shot attempt. I guess the bump is what caused him to take the extra step. Off the inbound. A little double clutch inside. We'll end with a bucket by Kyle Stoller. But that really started with the action there at Kale Winans. Yeah, Winans is one of those efficient players for Wayne Trace. Great job attacking, let the defense collapse, and then give it to the cleaner inside. Wyman's at first glance thought he was uh, going with a mohawk look, but just has that curly up top. The offensive miss, second opportunity here for the uh, Pilots. Brady Clark couldn't get it to go. Now with 22 seconds in the half, we could see the Raiders try to play for one shot. Yeah, Ayersville really needed that finish by Brady Clark. Point blank range, hit absolutely everything, but couldn't get it to go down. With it now is Tanner Lockoff. They tried to get it inside. Stoller doesn't go. Four seconds still left. Pull up, jumper off the side of the backboard. Wayne Trace will end it with three quarter shot. That's no good as we have reached the half here at the hangar. Great second quarter for Wayne Trace. They were down two, but they now lead this one at the break, partner, 36-18. Well, how about this, Randy? At the end of the first, Ayersville was winning 13-11, to and then all of a sudden you get suffocated by the defense of Wayne Trace, and the next thing you know, it, it's an 18-point margin, 36-18. Boy, Wayne Trace, they can explode in a hurry. Yeah, 22-5 second quarter for the Raiders. They have the big lead at the break, and will take one here on WOSN. Randy and Miles back with you here in the uh, hangar at Ayersville where it's 36-18 at the half. Wayne Trace has pulled away to uh, take this uh, lead over the uh, Pilots. Again, a 22-5 second quarter, the difference so far in this one. As uh, Wayne Trace, uh, to quote one of my favorite movie lines, just turned it up to 11, <laughs> and it's worked so far. <laughs> 10 is loud, but 11 is louder. And that defense, they really got after, right? What a swarming defense. And, of course, like you said in that second quarter, it turned into a layup line, didn't it? it did. Hands on, on the basketball, converted into layups. And, uh, and the half-court wise, when they jumped to that zone, that really frustrated Ayersville, limited their touches inside. Also know that uh, Ken Reeker appreciates any music reference that we do. So Turning, up, turning the knob and breaking it off at 11. I think we'll fit in for him. So looking forward to the second half. I know we've mentioned it uh, at de uh, a ton, but uh, we've been told to keep promoing it through the night. We're live with you again tomorrow night. We're at the Taj Mahal of Basketball in Defiance. Bulldogs, T-Birds, again, 430 JV tip. Uh, expect uh, us to be on the air here at WOSN 545-ish. Uh, Defiance College Basketball coming your way before that. Uh, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock as the Yellow Jackets have their uh, first Saturday doubleheader. 
Don't want to mention who the announce team is yeah, today. Gonna You're going to be one, I, one of the two voices that you hear tonight. By 8 o'clock tomorrow, <laughs> you are going to be so tired of hearing him. Yeah, I was going to say, a little double feature. Yeah, uh, you're going to be so, like, like does, doesn't this TV station employ more than one guy? Like, that's all, yes, yes, and I, I agree with you, and I agree wholeheartedly. Just sit back and enjoy basketball, and the, the soothing sounds of the mayor of Northwest Ohio, Randy Roberts, as he brings you Defiance College basketball and then Defiance High School basketball tomorrow night. I'm excited to see Bryn Lehman. He, he's got a little bit of a team in transition there mm -hmm. at Defiance, right? A lot of graduating last year, so it's a new team, but he's got them playing hard, not scoring a bunch. So it's going to be a real contrast of a team like LCC that wants to get up and down and then a little bit of a slow dance team in Defiance. It'll be a fun game tomorrow night. Yeah, team, um, like Miles said, a team in transition, not only with the roster. You know, you look at it and like, okay, I remember these guys off the JV team, but you even look at the list of coaches and you go, hey, there's a few guys I don't remember. So looking forward to uh, that one. So we're with you again tomorrow night just to shave before 6 o'clock for Defiance and the undefeated T-Birds of LCC. Underway third quarter action and Pilots are going to open the quarter by turning it over in the corner. Well what a screen though by Brady Clark on the perimeter. Here's well couldn't take advantage of it. You're going to get a screen against the zone. You got to go quickly against it. Unfortunately Ayersville yet another turnover. Now it is the Raiders going. There's the high floating three by Lockoff. That's going to be no good. Uh, Brady Clark brings us into the front court. His pass trying to go diagonally to the low block. It's knocked away. It's too quick of a hand. Everyone on the floor by Wayne Trace to do that. And instead, it is a three eventually. And it's going to be knocked down second of the night by Brooks Lockoff. Yeah, Brooks Lockoff. He likes two, Randy. He likes two, but he really loves three. And he's uh, dialed it up now for 12. Second on this team behind Kyle Stoller. We learned at halftime. He got all of his uh, athletic attributes from his mother and not his father. <laughs> We're sitting next to Trenton. How about that? Oh, almost a great finish. Uh, but Trent Stoller went and got us uh, some water at halftime. What a good dude. Opportunity there. Kind of banged off the backboard. Yeah, I thought he said he was going to something about sending kids, and I just asked for a refill of the water bottle. Well, I'll go get it. But the three there in the corner. Big shot. Carter Michael has stepped up in a big way, trying to keep the pilots in this one. Yeah, first three of the year for Carter Michael. He comes at a, an appropriate time, trying to get back in this ball game now down by 18. Here's Carter Clemens trying to wrap around under the basket, was able to draw the foul. He'll go to the line tonight. Carter Clemens still looking for his first made free throw, coming in at 0 for 3. Had a really good first five minutes of this basketball game. Kind of kept uh, him and Tanner Lockoff kept this Wayne Trace team in it when they were kind of out of sorts. And, of course, that second quarter, they just exploded. First one just a little bit off the mark. Number now 0 for 4, looking for one here. We'll get one more. 6.35 left to go in the third quarter in our Charles River scoreboard. Second one off to heel the iron as well. Ball still loose on the floor for the rebound, and we'll have a tie-up. Actually, when you uh, unpile the bodies, it looked like two Raiders had each other tied up. Well, he missed the two free throws, but he did the work getting in on the loose ball. And Carter comes. He just needs that first one to go, and then he can relax. Did you see his eyes? Didn't want to look at the rim. You know you're struggling at the free throw line when you don't want to look at it. Wayne Trace might have caught a break. The arrow in their favor as well. So here's Stoller going one on one, about up with a left oh, hand. Oh, Just a kiss off the window and in. A little spin a Rooney, then the left hand finish. 17 now for the senior forward. Makes it a 20 point lead for the Raiders. You wonder if good old dad taught him that one in the driveway. One is knocked away. Brady Clark moved the hands back because he thought it was last touch by a Raider. Now the officials are going to talk about it is that first they deemed it Wayne Trace basketball, and it looks like that is what the final call is going to be from the officials. You think Trent Stoller tries that uh, drop that spin move with the left hand? You think he's, he's in the in hospital for a while? <laughs> Broken hip? What do you think is going on there? Uh, Raiders with a basketball. You don't think he's schooling just everyone in the neighborhood? 
I bet when the kids were like five, he was dominating, blocking shots. Stola trying to go. Oh, point right. Got the kick out. Siders Hudson Meyer, his floater is going to be good. Now, Hudson Meyer, one of those guys that I really think is going to extend his offensive game as the season goes on. Averages seven a game, but you see that he has the ability to score. And Myers now with five. As the Raiders add on to their big lead. It's under five and a half to go, third quarter. Fishpaw looking for someone, uh, looking for someone inside instead of get rid of it in the corner. How about Peek just up and over everyone knocks down the triple. Yeah, Peekaboo from the corner. I see you. Second three of the game for the big freshman. That's all six of his points. So Lockoff has it poked away, manages to hold on to it. Myers with it again. He's going to come out. Looks like they're going to reset here. So get it over to the wing right side. Clemens. Kick out here, Stoller. So that left side turns back to the right. That one left a little short. Now it's a run out for Pete. Peek to the basket. Is able to put that up and in. Heard the footsteps coming. Had to get rid of that one in a hurry. Uh, did you see the little glimmer in his eyes like he was going to try? And better serve this. Go with the finger roll. Stoller had dreams. Off the backboard, but that one's going to be good. And Brooks Lockoff will score on the other end. Yeah, Mr. Big Time. Big Time again. Boy, he is so silky smooth when he's in rhythm. Lockoff from three now is 15. That one's going to be just ripped away. Brady Clark went up, lost the handle of the basketball. And now the baseline floater doesn't go. Three red jerseys inside. All fight for the rebound. This one is going to be thrown off the leg of Fish Pond out of bounds. Nice hustle play made there by Wayne Trace. As a Carter Clemens that hustles over and then throws it off a of Fish Paw. Oh, that is great effort. Elite level stuff right there on the effort lane. 46 26 here, halfway through our third quarter in our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. We Trace tried to apply more three-pointers there. That one's no good. Another hustle play. It's going halfway up into the student section. Is stolen to save that one. Long call through defenders in the paint. Gets the finger roll as his night continues on. Oh, what a sequence. First by Stoller saving it out of bounds and then the Statue of Liberty finish by Brooks Lockoff. Oh, how big time is he? Hesitation dribble, then the extension of the right hand. Lockoff also able to draw the foul. Now a chance to finish off the three point play. He'll get it. That now gives him the uh, team lead in points with 18. He and Stoller have combined for 35 of the 49. The Raiders have pulled away here. Winch, or, uh, Ayersville at a year and a half. This is a look inside trying to draw his way to the basket as Amoroso doesn't get it to go. Rebound is rolling around on the floor. We got two officials. Who are going to talk about it? And it looks like they decide on a held ball. Hey, this is a great step through by Amoroso, but you got to get your eyes up on that backboard, get it to the rim, right? Attacks it without really glimps, glimpsing up at it. Get your eyes locked up and focus on that top corner. Arrow will stay with uh, Ayersville, so they'll inbound under the basket. Want to go in, Carter Michael. Michael high off the glass receives the pass and is able to score. Now, if I'm Ayersville moving forward after this game, you can't go more than one or two possessions without him touching the ball inside. Michael with a good look. He's got 15. About stolen with that left hand once again. Well, I got a little bit of a Wayne Trace battle. Who's going to be the leading scorer? 19 now for Stoller, 18 for Lockoff. They have done the damage here. It's been uh, all Raiders for the past 12 minutes or so pulling away in this GMC opener. Kale Winans with the basketball right now. Winans looked like he was going to go a little hesitation move. He's able to turn the corner, gets the foul drawn on him as Dylan Hinkle is in the lineup now for the Pilots. Yeah, smart move by Winans. Peak doesn't come down and dig on it, so you got the mismatch. Go ahead and use that one-on-one -on -one against Hinkle. Get yourself to the line, and Winans a really good free-throw shooter. Yeah, it's small sample size, 4-5, of five, now 5-6. Five of six. Look at that stroke, though. He's got a fantastic free throw. It's also his uh, first point of the night. As it looks like some of the uh, 
Bench players reserves starting to sprinkle their way into this lineup for the Raiders. They lead this one 52-28, 2.40 to go third quarter on our Charles River scoreboard as Winans knocks down both free throws. Now, I was talking to Ben Winans, Cal's dad, a couple weeks ago, and you know his sisters play for the girls team at Wayne Trace. said, who's the, the best player in the family? You know what he said? Mom. Mom was a 1,000-point scorer when she played. So when they dig out the ball and get in the driveway, watch out for mom. She's still got game. So that is stories you hear. A lot of the families in the uh, communities that make up Wayne Trace. Miles is partial to Haviland, but uh, we'll take him through some of the other parts of town. Uh, the Ritz-Carlton in downtown Haviland, if you haven't stayed there, it's absolutely fantastic. I didn't even know what Haviland had in downtown. Pilots with a basketball, <laughs> 23-28 as we near the two-minute mark in the third quarter. And you got to credit Jim Linder jumping to the zone in the second quarter. And the, the pressure and then going back to the zone really changed the temperature of this basketball game. Ayersville trying to go inside out. Brady Clark's going to lose the handle on his way up to the rack. Raiders come up with this one. Kick out is going to be thrown back behind. Hudson Myers wasn't ready for it. Now Winans will have it. Myers and uh, Brooks Lockhoff really make up most of the backcourt. We also see Brady Miller out on the floor as well. Now we're going to get a whistle and a foul coming here on Brady Clark. That's going to be his second. Fourth of the quarter as we see looks like Stoller Carter Clemens coming back in. So might just get one final push here this last Minute 44 for some of the starters for the Raiders. Stoller gets this one of the low block. He'll come out to the wing before he finds Winans. Winans double teamed on the baseline. And Hudson Myers with it. Myers that high post pass. Clemens gets the kick out. Tanner Lockhoff will get rid of it. Myers got a flare back out for Winans. Looks like Winans is going to go over the shot when his defender slipped down. Up through a double team. That's going to be no good. I believe that was Stoller inside and muscling his way for the rebound to be uh, Brady Clark. Yeah, that was a little bit too uh, unforgiving with the passes. Too unselfish by Clemens. Go ahead and finish that in the lane. Good look. It doesn't go for Brady Clark. It's been that kind of night for Ayersville. Now the Raiders waiting for everyone to come into the half court. So... Don't wait as long. All right, Hudson Myers will pull up. Doesn't get it to go. Looks like Jeremiah Peak might have gotten an inadvertent shot to the eye. Yeah, Myers tries to get the rebound, goes over top of Peak, and oh, you see it right there. Clemens, not intentional, but Peak kind of ran into the elbow. Looks like Peak's going to be okay, though. Looks like wiping some of that sweat out. And we're good to go here, just under a minute to go in the quarter. Now, Pete does not play like a freshman, does he? he he's going to be something special here at Ayersville. One thrown for the corner, Stoller trying to save that. And it's amazing when you think of these guys, or if you go to junior high games, like you see these guys playing against eighth graders, knowing the type of competition they're going to play the next <laughs> right, year. Right. Kind of unfair at times. Right. And, and if you look at Peek's foot, uh, his shoe size, he's got some battleships right there. He's still growing. Peek's got the basketball right now. Let's swing it over to the wing right side. Flory will go inside again to Clark. Back to Flory. It's going to be knocked away. Another turnover forced by the Raiders. Try to set up, see what they do in the last 20 seconds. Stoller from the low block. Turns up with that left hand. That one's knocked away. Flory forces the turnover. Looks up at the clock. Find Owen Lloyd. Swing it over. Here's Peek from three. That one doesn't go. And big contact going for the rebound and a foul with four seconds. Yeah, this is big contact indeed, but if you're Wayne Trace, you got to like this. Look at Brady Miller. Says, you know what, you're going to knock me to the floor, but you're not getting this basketball. Holds on to it. That's some toughness right there. It is the team's fifth, so we're going to walk to the other end with uh, Wayne Trace in the bonus as Brady Miller, who's 0 for 3 from the charity strike this year, will get a couple of free throws. And he'll hit the first. So 
Miller will become the eighth different Raider to score through three quarters. Second toss, good as well. Which also means the guy keeping track should probably note that down. Final shot is no good. We've reached the end of the third, 55-28. Wayne Trace pulling away, and we'll take a break here on WOSF. 5528, the hardworking Ayersville band up on the stage here tonight, providing most of the entertainment in between quarters. But interesting setup they have here at the, I guess the new hangar for those of us who remember the old Himager's hangar. What is that thing that the band director uses to point? The baton? Is that what it's it called, a baton? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a pep band director yeah, use one of those, but it's fantastic. It's working. They sound really good. That's right. Yeah, it's the first time I've really seen. You see them uh, with a concert band, not really a whole lot with pep bands. Uh, my experience with pep band is normally the uh, band director would uh, either point or tell you what song to play and give you a countdown. Do, do you use that if a kid's playing bad? Do you throw it at them to remind them to, to uh, pick up the tempo? Uh, since you know the band director I played band for, yes, that did happen with Chris Lyons. <laughs> Brooks Lovkoff's going to open with a basket here to begin the fourth quarter. Yeah, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Brooks Lockoff scores yet again. Three top of the key is going to be no good. That went a little too strong out of Amoroso. Stoller off the miss. See how long the uh, regulars for Wayne Trace stay out on the floor here with this 57-28 lead. Seven and a half minutes to play in our scoreboard tonight. Brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville. Here's Stoller. Cut off on the baseline. So we'll reverse it and get the kick out. Thought he was going to go up with the left hand again. Changed his mind. Inside Carter Clemens, who's able to draw the foul. That's big for Carter Clemens. He's aggressive when he catches this right there. Doesn't back down. Remember, he's just a sophomore. Big upside. I like the aggressiveness, though, on that post play. Fouls on uh, Garrett Flory. It's going to be his second. So here's Clemens at the line, shooting two. First one up and good. Uh, Big sigh of relief by that time. Got his eyes on the rim, had a good stroke. Been struggling at the free throw line, but much better job on the first one. Left that one short, but that's so he could get into the lane and try to come up with his own miss. Instead, he's going to be the one whistled for the foul. The first Raider foul here this quarter. 30 point lead for the Raiders. And again, our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemi chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs at criver.com to apply today. Here's the steal. Lock off to the basket. And it just becomes commonplace at this point, right? Yeah, how many of his points in his career come off of moments like that? The long reach of lock off strikes again. 22 forms. Second effort inside will lead to a foul. I believe we're going to have couple of free throws coming so with the stoppage that's going to allow the Raiders to empty their bench you see five fresh red jerseys at the scores table now you get the feeling that Lockoff and Stoller might be playing their last couple seconds of this basketball game Amoroso at the line shooting couple here first one's going to rim out so there's Winans. We see Brady Miller back in. Looks like the uh, first appearance, Caleb Mosier. Caught another one, uh, Lance uh, Manley in the lineup, and we missed one. And we'll see if we can get who that is. I thought I saw five jerseys. As the second one is good. As Caden Sin, the fifth one. Now, Sin had that big three in the first half. Played a, a really good JV game. Wayne Trace dominated that one as well. 48-19, our JV final this evening to get things started. It was a briskly paced game as well. Wyman's at the wing looking for someone. Had his dribble, won't use it. Instead, he'll get it out for Brady Miller. Miller picks up his dribble, needs some help. Back up Winans. Winans with a lane open all the way to the basket. Draws contact on the way in, and he'll have a chance at a three-point play. 
You see this crank. Remember, he is a linebacker during the football season. And then the toughness going through the contact and the quickness. He's a shortstop in baseball, so you know he's an athlete. Winans try to finish off the three-point play, and he will. Gives him five points tonight. Now 63-29. We are in danger of seeing a running clock for the final six minutes. If someone would have told you that after the first quarter, you'd look at them like they're crazy, right? But the defense has been suffocating for Wayne Trace since that first quarter. Yeah, the Pilots had 13 in the opening quarter. They've scored 16 since then. And Winans like caught an elbow maybe to the uh, face or eye, and the, the yelps in pain did enough for the officials wanted to hold things up to make sure he was all right. Hey, good job by the official, right? Making sure everybody's okay. The Winans gave him the thumbs up. I'm ready to go. Into the backcourt. Here's a three setting his feet. Was Caden Sin. Couldn't get that one to go. Now Brady Clark into the front court. Amoroso get it inside. Flory trying to get his way up. That one is going to miss as it's ripped away. And ball comes out here to the Raiders to come into the half court. One thrown around now. Flory trying to save it. But when he did, he slid through the baseline. So the right idea, just the wrong ending is uh, Wayne Trace is going to go even deeper into their bench. Go with a couple of uh, JV guys that we don't have numbers for. Do you know Tyson Gerber, number 14, is out there? See if we can get a name for number 42. There's a three. That's going to be good. Lance Maney with the big three, the sophomore from the corner. Carter Michael trying to answer from the other side. That one's going to be no good. And Manley comes up with a miss. Now pull up jumper. Garber with it. Can't get that one to go. Gerber, excuse me. Gerber at the wing and the pass deflected. But the Raiders will keep it here with 440 to play. Tough drive, tough angle to get that up and in, and the shot's That's going to go. Good. Going through to contact and young guys getting on the floor for Wayne Trace and they are eating up the chum in the water. Manly now with five. This one's starting to get away from the pilots a little bit. Pass is going to be thrown and deflected out of bounds. With substitution now, Dylan Hinkle back in for Ayersville. As the Nearly 40-point difference, a running clock now into effect here. Now, great start for Wayne Trace in the, in the GMC. Uh, they're they're going to have Hicksville next in the GMC. That's a team that is struggling. So, you know, really good start, good opportunity to get 2-0 in the GMC. And you look at Ayersville, they're going to have Paulding. And not the same Paulding team from a year ago. A lot of different pieces. So, Ayersville will have an opportunity to get it up to 1-1. One one. Yeah, with the most uh, important one being a new head coach. Uh, coaches felt that a good time to step aside after winning a GMC title a year ago. It's a good lob inside, a little too strong. Trying to get that up for uh, Kayla Moser. Pilots force the turnover. They get it here with 320 to play. Fishball from the corner will let fly. That one doesn't go. A little bit of contact on the rebound, but we'll play on. Rebound or the outlet out to Manley. Get the lob inside, working this around. He's trying to run some time off the clock. How about that little move and the nice drive to the basket and the score by Kate Sin. Yeah, a little give and go action, and Sin was the beneficiary of the nice pass and a good little finger roll off the high glass. Timeout here, 70 to 29. We'll take a uh, timeout and we'll take a break here at WOSA. A 2.57 left to play. That clock will run once we whistle everything in for action here. The running clock, 70 to 29. Uh, Wayne Trace with a lead uh, over the pilots of uh, Ayersville. As Miles Halliday's made his way down on the court. We'll uh, check in with him later on with our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner coming up in just a few moments as a part of our post game here. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Pilots with a basketball trying to... Uh, finish this one out as they use that timeout to make a handful of substitutions as well. 
So both teams going pretty deep under their bench as ball is going to be knocked out of bounds. And it's going to be Ayersville basketball. Pilot set up in the half court once again. Pass over for the wing now to Peak, Jeremiah Peak. Peak about the only uh, regular out there on the floor. I'll take that back. Owen Lloyd, he's seen a little bit of action out there as well. Here's a three from the wing. That one's going to be up no good. And grabbing the rebound will be Caleb Moser. And the Raiders let fly. That one doesn't go. The offensive rebound. And the high entry pass thrown away. And now the Pilots get this one back. Zach Clock continues to run as we near the minute and a half mark. Ayersville right now just going side to side. Trying to find some movement on offense. Here's Peak gets that jump stop. Able to get to the basket. He'll have a chance to score. Now Jeremiah Peak, good looking freshman for the Pilots, will have a chance at a three point play. Peak now with 10. And now he'll have a chance to add on to it. Peak is 13 of 18 from the free throw line this year. He'll miss that one. As the Raiders come up with a miss. And they'll run down this final 45 seconds. Gerber, step inside the free throw line, lets fly. That one off the mark, heads out of bounds. Now Ayersville will just inbound with 35 seconds left. He's into peak, peak into the front court. Trying to dribble around the screen. He's able to go baseline, lost the handle. The teams will trade turnovers now. They'll get this into the Raiders. Bring it into the front court. Coaches tell everyone just to hold up as the final 10 seconds are going to run down here as the Raiders of Wayne Trace will improve to 9-1, and one, and they will start the GMC slate with an impressive win as Wayne the Trace has come to Ayersville and they have defeated the Pilots this evening, 70 to 31. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll be joined down on the floors. Our Miles Holiday will be down with our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner. That's coming up right after this. You're watching high school basketball live on WOSN. 70 to 31, our final. Wayne Trace gets the win over Ayersville. An impressive effort, especially if Ayersville led this one. 13 to 11 after one. Part of the reason is the big man standing down on the floor. Next to our Miles Holiday, it's senior forward Kyle Stoller, who is our Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner tonight. Yeah, fantastic game here by Wayne Trace. A little bit of a struggle in that first quarter. They had you guys 13 11. What changed in that second quarter? Um, they were physical in the first quarter. We knew they were going to be physical coming in, but uh, after the first quarter, I feel like we matched that physicality and then uh, got up and down the floor a lot, which helped us. Our defense turned into offense, and, and we blew that lead open, and, and that just opened up the game. Yeah, you had 19 points. Uh, we had you as a double-double. You used the left hand a lot in the low post. Was that because of what they were giving you defensively, or was that by design? Yeah, Carter Michael uh, was guarding my left shoulder, so I couldn't spin to my right hand. So, um, thankfully, uh, my dad growing up has worked with my left hand. Uh, all my life, so to be able to turn around to that right shoulder and finish left-handed, it's tough for people to guard. Uh, a year ago, you guys fell short of your goal, winning the GMC. How important was it to get this first one to open the league play? Absolutely. We're, we're hungry coming in just because we, we were so close last year. We made it to win, but one of our goals, which was winning GMC. So come in, we're not going to take any team for granted. Uh, we're we're going to play our hardest, especially during GMC games, and I felt like that was a great first game. Uh, Randy and I sat by your dad up there. Uh, be honest, all right, one-on-one, -on -one, does Dad dominate you still? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I love it. Hey, you're no, you're no stranger to this. Uh, another ball for your collection. Half-court shot. You want to go this one right here? Yeah, all right. You got a time. Ah, uh, we'll see. I'm 0 for 3. There you go. Kyle Stoller. All right. That looks good, right? Oh, oh. just a little short. Congratulations. <laughs> Randy, he was fantastic tonight, wasn't he? He absolutely was, and... Uh, Dad had dead left before we could tell him what Kyle said that he would absolutely dominate him. So next time we see the Raiders in action, we'll have to make sure we uh, handle all that. So we want to thank everyone made our night possible here at uh, Ayersville. 
Starts with Rafael Manriquez, the athletic director here. Beth Hinch, the superintendent. Welcome to all, all of us in. I know that uh, Ken got to know her really well, making sure that uh, all of the uh, computer parts uh, to this work the way they're supposed to. So we are grateful for that. want to thank Samantha Ryan for all the work that she did on the camera tonight as well. And again, we want to thank Stolly Insurance for uh, sponsoring our uh, Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Check out highlights tonight. Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. So 70-31 is the final. Wayne Trace opens up GMC play with the win. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching High School Basketball live tonight on WOSN.